Hello everyone. Today I will discuss the bell shape functions. They have a single maximum and the intensity decreases on both sides of the maximum. The most commonly used are Gaussian function, cauchy lorentz and Voigt function. These functions are commonly used in optics, for instance to approximate the shape of the beam or to approximate the shape of the spectral line. I will focus on the width of these functions because it's sometimes confusing when people say that the width of the beam is, for instance, 5 micrometers, and the question is about which width they are talking about. So let's start with a Gaussian function. In one dimension, the intensity can be described as i naught e to the power of minus x minus x naught squared over to sigma squared, where x naught is the position of the maximum. So let's calculate the width of this profile. So x of i naught equals e to the minus x minus x naught squared over 2 sigma squared. So let's take the natural logarithm of the left and right hand sides. I can write that this is minus logarithm i naught over function i minus x minus x naught squared over 2 sigma squared. So from this x equals x naught plus minus square root of 2 sigma squared natural logarithm i naught over i. There are two solutions because as we have a bell shape and we will have this point and this point. So here is x, here is x naught and here is this x solution with plus square root and here is the solution with minus square root. So if we calculate now the width, let's say, that, let's name it d, let's name this width d. So d equals actually 2 times square root of 2 sigma squared natural logarithm i naught over i x. So we can write that this is 2 sigma square root of 2 natural logarithm i naught over i. Okay, let's take the another one. So now we have the width of this profile for the intensity i at the point x. If we have a pearl shape function, in our case it's Gaussian, we have some i naught, the maximum intensity, and at point i naught over 2 we have a width which is called full width at half maximum. Full width at half maximum. And now we can calculate the relationship between full width at half maximum and this Gaussian sigma. So let's do this. So full width at half maximum equals 2 sigma square root of 2 natural logarithm i naught over i naught over 2. So this will be 2 i naught over i naught. So it equals 2 sigma square root of 2 natural logarithm of 2. So finally we can say that full width at half maximum 
equals 2 sigma square root of 2 natural logarithm of 2. So knowing this Gaussian sigma, we can calculate full weights that have maximum. We know the relationship between full weights that have maximum and sigma, and we know the widths for i, for the intensity i, at point x, because we assume that the profile is symmetric. So now we can calculate at which point the half of the widths is equal to sigma. Here is x, here is the maximum intensity, i naught, and the question is, what is the intensity at this point? where the half of the widths of this profile is equal to sigma. We know that the full widths is 2 sigma and square root, so half of the width will be sigma square root. So now sigma equals sigma square root 2 logarithm i naught over i at the point x. So, square root of 2 logarithm i naught over i at point x equals 1. So, logarithm equals 1 over 2. So, i naught over i at point x equals e to the power of 1 over 2. So, this is square root of e. So finally, i x equals i naught over square root of e. It means that the widths, the half of the widths of the profile equals sigma at the point where the intensity drops square root of e times in relation to the maximum intensity. So this is the intensity at the point where the half of the width is sigma. We know from the previous calculations that for full widths that have maximum, by definition, the intensity is i naught over 2. Here it is i naught over square root of e. Okay, let's move on. Because there is a third width called w naught which is very commonly used. And this W naught appears for the intensity, which is e to the power of 2 times lower than the maximum intensity. So let's calculate the relationship between W naught, sigma, and full weights that have maximum. We know that W0, by definition, is at the point where the intensity is e to the power of 2 times lower than the maximum intensity. So let's use the same formula we derived earlier. So half of the width is just sigma square root. So W0 equals sigma square root 2 logarithm i naught over i naught over e squared, so there will be e squared here. So it equals sigma square root 2 logarithm i over not i naught over i naught is 1, so we have a logarithm of e to the power of 2. So it is probably 2. So this is square root of 4. So this is 2 sigma. It means that there is a very simple relation between w naught, sorry, between w naught and sigma. W naught is 2 times sigma. This is Gaussian sigma. So let's summarize. We have sigma, this Gaussian sigma, which appears at the intensity i naught over square root of e. We have full width at half maximum, which is the full 
width of the profile at the intensity, which is half of the maximum intensity. And we have W naught, the width, which appears for the intensity, which is e to the power of 2 times lower than the maximum intensity. And W naught is 2 times sigma. And as we derived earlier, full width at half maximum equals to sigma square root of 2 logarithm of 2. Which means that we can write that full width at half maximum equals w naught square root of 2 logarithm 2. OK, so we have three relationships between different widths. Full widths at half, F, full widths at half maximum, sigma and w naught. And this is for Gaussian profile. So let's summarize. Full width at half maximum is 2 times sigma and the square root, and this 2 times square root can be approximated by 2.75 times sigma. So, as sigma is w naught over 2, then full width at half maximum can be approximated by 1.177 w naught. Now let's talk about the Lorentz function. Sometimes it's called Cauchy Lorentz function. So we have Cauchy. Cauchy Lorentz function. By definition, the intensity in one dimension is I naught gamma squared over x minus x naught plus gamma squared, where x naught is once again the position of the maximum. All the functions that I'm showing you are not normalized to 1. I mean, the area below the function is not normalized to 1, but the maximum intensity is normalized to I0. In order to have the function normalized to 1, instead of I0, there should be 1 over pi times gamma. But let's stick with this definition, so we have the maximum intensity normalized to I0. OK. So this is another bell shape function, and we have half width at half maximum. So this is half of the full width at half maximum, actually. So this is the width for i naught over 2, this is the half width, and we have w naught. Here is x. And here is some intensity. Here is I naught. So let's calculate the width of this profile. So we have intensity I naught equals gamma squared over x minus x naught squared is gamma squared. So we have So x minus x naught squared equals gamma squared i naught minus intensity times gamma squared over i at point x. So we have x, which is x naught plus minus, and here will be square root gamma square i naught of i point x minus gamma squared. So we'll have plus minus gamma 
element times square root x minus 1. So now in order to calculate the width it will be 2 times actually gamma square root of i naught over i at point x minus 1. So let's calculate the full width at half maximum. Full width at half maximum appears for the intensity, which is I naught over 2. So full width at half maximum equals 2 gamma square root I naught over I naught over 2. So this is 2 times minus 1 equals 2 minus 1 is 1, square root of 1 is 1, so we have 2 gamma. It means that full width and half maximum equals 2 gamma. Moreover, it means that half width and half maximum, which is half of the full width and half maximum, is just gamma. So, by definition, this gamma is just half width and half maximum. Here is gamma. Half of the width of the profile for intensity I naught over 2 is just gamma, and this is half width at half maximum. So now let's calculate the widths where the intensity drops e to the power of 2 times. So we are calculating W naught. W naught is half of the width, so we can just take this square root times gamma. So W naught equals gamma square root of I naught over I naught divided by E squared, so times E squared minus 1. So it equals gamma square root of e squared minus 1. So w naught can be approximated by 2.528 times gamma. Void function is a convolution of Lorentz function and Gaussian function. So we have void function. So let's assume we have g, Gaussian function. Let's assume that this is normalized. Square root of 2 pi times e x squared 2 sigma squared. And we have a Lorentz function at point x, which is described by gamma over pi times x squared plus gamma squared. These are normalized Gaussian and Lorentz functions. So now we take a convolution. So we have an integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of this Gaussian function at point v and this Lorentz function, Lorentzian function, x minus v dv. So we have a convolution of Gaussian and Lorentz function. Why this function is used in approximating the spectral lines? The shape of the spectral lines is in many cases Lorentzian. So this Lorentz function describes the spectral line and this Gaussian function describes the spread, the spread function. So it is connected to some imperfections of the measuring setup, the instrumentations that you are using. So by taking a convolution, we take the real spectral line and convolve it with a Gaussian function, which adds some spread to this Lorentzian original spectral line. And we get this void function. 
So we briefly discussed the Gaussian function, cauchy lorentz function and their widths, and we mentioned the void function. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.